What's up? I'm Angela Yee, and I'm here in Fort Hamilton, and we have the pleasure of talking with, and I'm not messing up anybody's title, so we wrote it down, U.S. Army New York City Recruiting Battalion Lieutenant Colonel Whitney Jensen and Command Sergeant Major Indardio. How are you both today? Doing great. We're you? great. Thanks for having us. Doing well. Now, one thing that we were just talking about behind the scenes is you have an all-women's leadership team. So can you discuss that and what the team consists of? So um, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Whitney Jensen, and I'm the commander of New York City Recruiting Battalion for the United States Army. We recruit New York's finest from all the five boroughs, Long Island and Westchester County. And this is my senior enlisted advisor. Command Sergeant Major Angela Indardio. And uh, the command team consists of our two por portions. So I command the battalion, and she gives all the enlistment ad advisement, and uh, she is responsible for the organization and the morale and welfare of the soldiers. All right, well look, that's an important job and I know it's an important time also for both of you and for the whole team. So can you discuss the whole recruiting, what's going on, the extra incentives happening right now? Sure, so right now um, we are doing Army National Hiring Days and it is on until the Army's birthday, which is 14 June. So for this period of time uh, that started last week, if you qualify for 11 primary job openings, uh, you will get an additional up to $2,000 signing bonus, and that's in addition to any benefits or bonuses that come with any normal uh, enlistment option. Sergeant Major? Today you're going to get a special treat. You're going to get an opportunity to meet some of our team members who are married Army couples, and they will tell you all about their experience here in our great Army in the local area. No, I'm excited about that. And what made you both want to do what it is that you do? And what are some of the most common questions that people ask you? So I joined the Army 23 years ago from right here in Brooklyn, New York. And I really joined to get the experience to travel mm -hmm. um, as well as to continue with my education, which I have had the opportunity to do. Um, what I love about the Army is the leadership skills that it's offered me um, as well as to continue with my education. And it's been a great experience so far. And um, I joined the Army to get money for college uh, in 1996. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people joined the Army for different reasons, and that's what drew me to the Army. There were some bonuses associated with that, and I was able to pay for my undergraduate degree by joining the United States Army Reserve and, and serve simultaneously in the reserves and go to college. And then I later got commissioned as an officer so that I could lead an organization because the Army really showed me what I wanted to do in life, which was give back to my country, um, lead organizations, and, uh, you know, I was just love the team aspect of, of what the Army brings um, and the challenge of every single day. What are some of the most common questions people ask you when it comes to recruiting? Some of the most common questions I get are, is the Army hard? Uh, and what is it like being a female in the Army? Um, and, you know, Basic training, you know, was one of those things that was definitely challenging because prior to being in the Army, I don't know uh, that I had done much uh, physical activity other than playing varsity sports uh, in high school. However, uh, the Army definitely trains us for what we need to do and what challenges we need to embrace. And that was something that was great for me uh, starting out in basic training. Um, another thing is being a female in the Army, I found that um, opportunities are open to all men and women. Um, and that's opened my eyes um, and ha given me the opportunity to grow and be the top enlisted rank uh, in the Army. So being a female or male has not really um, stopped me from being what I wanted to be. All I had to do was work hard and be focused, and that's what's opened all the doors for me in the Army, and that's been great. I thought that was a great answer. <laughs> you like what she said. <laughs> um, so one of, one of the common uh, questions that we get is um, about the benefits mm -hmm. you know what type of benefits really come with the army and can you really live off of the wage that the army produces and absolutely so you know starting pay can be anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars for um, anyone coming in as a private um, to specialist that comes with also in addition to that basic allowance for housing or free housing you also get $4,000 tuition assistance a year, and that's on top of qualifying for GI benefits. There's also basic allowance for subsistence, and you get 30 days of paid vacation, as well as all your medical and dental coverage covered for you and your family. So really, when you look at the benefits package of the United States Army, it is comparable or better than anything that's out there. 
What about getting deployed? I know people have to ask about that. So how does that work? Um, so I've been deployed five times in my career. I have been in the Army for 24 years, so, you know, that also comes with, with the job. Uh, deployments are anywhere from four months to six months to a year long, um, and it's really part of what you train for and what your job is, uh, and you're doing what you kind of love to do out there uh, in the real world against, um, you know, either with partnered countries or, you know, um, other personnel and you know I actually look forward to all the deployments that I did because that's what you train for you train to do your wartime mission or your peacetime mission with with allied forces and you're doing it every single day so yes you're away from your family but you actually get a, additional compensation for that you also get tax-free money if you're in um, certain areas uh, and then you it's only for a certain period of time and then you come back and you've gained a lot of experience in your job uh, with those deployments that you can then apply to your regular job. So, um, yeah, deployments, I think, are, are actually a not only a necessity, but it, a great opportunity to broaden yourself as a United States Army soldier. One thing that's great about the Army is we have 150 different career fields. Um, I haven't personally uh, deployed. Uh, one thing I've learned about the Army is that we all support, um, and whether you're uh, an administrative specialist or a computer engineer mm -hmm. uh, in the Army, whatever you do, the Army trains you to do that job, and whether you are overseas or here uh, stateside, that is the job that the Army trained you to do, and that is the job that you'll do regardless of where in the world you are. Well, thank you both for taking the time to talk with us today. I know I learned a lot. So I'm trying to make sure that everybody gets this knowledge. There's a lot of myths, a lot of misconceptions, and just basic information that people need to know. So we have until June 14th, is that June correct? June 14th to qualify for those enlistment incentives. And of course, you can join the Army at any time. <laughs> um, and our recruiting NCOs are standing by to answer all of your questions. But you know what? We have something for you. Oh, for me? Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So this is a commander's coin. It's given uh, for excellence. You're supposed Say that to again. give it. It's, this is a commander's coin and it's given for excellence. So on the one side, New York City Recruiting Battalion. On the back is our entire area of operation. And thank you for having us today. Oh my gosh. No, this no, is, you, we, this oh, is how wait. you do it. Okay, I was just about to You got to do it like this. All right. This is like a secret code. All I, right. Yes, yay, absolutely. I appreciate it. That is amazing. Thank you so much. And thanks for taking the time for me today. Absolutely. Listen, I don't know. I got to get this like framed or something. <laughs> we'll tell you what it does later. Ha, ha, ha.